Hello and welcome back to Bits and Bobs. Today's video is all about the 1929 florin from the reign of King George V. The coin we can see on screen now. I will first go through the design of the coin and then move on to the facts and figures. So here we have the reverse design of the coin, but done by George Kruger Gray, whose initials KG can be seen to the very bottom of the coin. The design has a central G for George, King George V. They have then four scepters coming out from the centre, each of them are crowned. And between the crown scepters are then four shields, two of which have the three lines of England, or England, the bottom left, the half of Ireland, or Ireland, and then to the top right, the lion rampant of Scotland, or Scotland. So a cool royal design there. At the bottom we have the wording one florin, and the date there, of course giving us the year it was made, 1929, and the value of one florin, and to the top is a legend in Latin, Fid Death in Imp, Defender of the Faith, Emperor of India, titles of King George V, who we see now on the obverse. This is the one and only portrait of him used on British coins, and it was done by Bertram McKennell, seeing the king facing to the left, with no crown and no laureate. Around him is a legend, which reads, Georgibus v. De Gra Brit Om Rex, translating to English as George V, by the grace of God, King of all the Britons. His titles as monarch, and referencing his titles as monarch and position as monarch have been given by God, De Gra, by the grace of God, so he is a God-given powers as the king. Around the rim we can see small teeth, milling or beads, and these are all there to stop the clipping of the coin, making sure no one can shave off or steal any of the silver from the edge of the coin. There's the design, and now on to the facts and figures of the 1929 florin. A coin minted at the Tower Hill Mint in London, where the Royal Mint was based, between 1810 to 1975. The coin is composed of 0.500 silver, so it's 50% silver, meaning only one half of this coin is actually silver, the other half is not, as they reduce the silver content after World War I. Now then, moving on to the weight of the coin, it's 11.3 grams in weight, so it's actually the same as when it was first released in 1849, and the diameter, again the same as in 1851, when the diameter was changed, the same diameter was kept, although the metal content did change. The mintage for this year of florin is 16,397,279, so a very high mintage, over 15 million, so a very common date of florin, the florin coin being worth 24 pence, which was 2 shillings, which is one-tenth of a pound sterling, so there will be 10 of these coins within every pound. Back in 1929, one florin was equal to £7.96 today, so around £8 of today's money, or one florin back then, for a comparison of the buying power, and the coin was demonetized in 1992, after serving as a 10 pence piece for a short while after decimalization. Now then, moving on to the value of the coin today, it'll sell for around £5 in poor grade, due to the silver content, £10 in fine condition, £20 in extremely fine grade, and then up to £40 in uncirculated grade. So a fairly low price overall, although £40 is quite a lot for one coin, it is an extremely high price there, as that is the best condition you can get possibly. And then even to the lower grades, very affordable, even looking at it being a good option for silver stacking due to the low premium silver. So there we go, a cool coin overall. Please do comment down below if you have one. Please of course as well subscribe. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you again soon for some more coins in the future on Bits and Bobs. Bye for now.